Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a kind of a quick video just reviewing how to multiply and divide rational expressions. And remember, everything we're learning in class about rational expressions um, really relates back to all the basic skills we have with fractions. So uh, when we're multiplying or dividing fractions, just to kind of recall and remember what we've learned, multiplying is very simple. Literally, you just multiply straight across. So when you see like 2 thirds times 1 fifth, you know, really all you have to do is 2 times 1 and 3 times 5. And usually, like, for us, that's, that's pretty easy math. So 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 5 is 15, and we get this 2 fifteenths as an answer. And, of course, if we can simplify it down, we would to simplify our answer. 2 fifteenths, uh, you can't. It, it is simplified. With division, what we basically decided to do is we turn it into a multiplication problem. So we kind of learned all these different ways of remembering this, but a division problem with fractions basically means to flip that second fraction over, inverse it, and multiply. So this problem, 2 sevenths divided by 1 half, we would change it to 2 sevenths times 2 over 1, and we'd flip that fraction. And then we'd do what we did over here, we'd just multiply straight across. 2 times 2 is 4, 7 times 1 is 7, and we have 4 sevenths is our answer. And so those like two basic skills of multiplying straight across and remembering to flip and multiply with division um, apply directly to rational expressions. And so to give you some examples here, we're going to try a couple of problems. So example. We might have something like... 3x squared over y times 2xy over 6. Still fractions, but now we call it a rational expression because we've got variables involved. We have x's and y's. But the rules are still the same. We're just going to go straight across. So I'm going to multiply straight across. I'm going to do 3x squared times the 2xy. And I'm, on bottom, I'm going to do y times 6. And then I need to clean it up. If I can simplify, I should. So here's kind of the deal with this one. Uh, there's no adding. There's no subtracting. We can just break it down into its little bit of little parts. So 3x squared is 3x times x. 2xy, it's broken down. That's 2x times y. It's already kind of broken down. And on bottom, y times 6, well, technically 6 is 3 times 2. So we're going to do what we've been doing in class. We're going to look for the power of 1 and, and get it out of the problem. So I see, for instance, these 3s that could come out, and these 2s. And I see a set of y's that are kind of far across from each other. So it looks like the entire denominator is gone. And on top, I'm left with x times x uh, times x. So I see x to the third power. And that's it. That's all I'm left with. So this thing simplifies down to x to the third power. Now, these definitely get more complicated than these ones when you start putting an addition or a subtraction sign into it as well. So let's look at an adding or a subtracting problem. And what I mean by adding or subtracting is I mean things like, like this. Like if I told you I had x plus 2 over 4y, and I'm timesing it by 6 over, you know, 4x plus 8. Now, it's still a multiplication problem, so I'm still going to go straight across. But this is one of those problems where you have to kind of go in on your own and insert something. You need to group these adding problems together with some parentheses. x plus 2 needs to be grouped together. 4x plus 8 needs to be grouped together. And then you can multiply straight across. It's going to be x plus 2 in a group times 6. And on bottom it's going to be 4y times the group 4x plus 8. And now we're ready to simplify. And so looking at this problem, uh, one of the things I'm identifying is that the 4x plus 8, I could divide 4 out of this. I could factor a 4 out. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to divide the 4 out. So on top I have x plus 2 times 6. Well 6 is technically 2 times 3, so let's put it as 2 times 3. On bottom, I have the, the 4y, so I still have 4y, but why don't we change 4 to 2 times 2y. And then I'm pulling this 4 out, so here's that 4 pulled out. 
I'm dividing it out. 4 divided by 4 is 1x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then anything I can get rid of, I should. So I definitely see uh, the x plus 2s. Let's get rid of those. And I also definitely see the 2 and the 2 here. I think that's it. So left on top of my fraction, I'm left with a 3. And left on bottom, I have 2y times 4. So 2 times 4 is 8y. So this entire thing is going to reduce down to 3 over 8y. Now, if I turn these into division problems, they're not really much different. Division just adds one extra step. So now I'm going to do a division example here. Let's say you had something like 10x plus 4 over 2. And we were going to divide it by 15x plus 6 over 7. 15x plus 6 over 7. So it's kind of like the last problem. I see adding involved. So I'm going to go in on my own and group some things together. I also see division. And with fractions and dividing, I always remember flip and multiply. So I'm going to keep the first fraction, keep that one the same, 10x plus 4 over 2. And then I'm going to change it to multiplication, and I'm going to flip this one over. So I'm going to make it 7 over the group of 15x plus 6. And now I'm ready to, luckily, just multiply straight across. So I have 10x plus 4 uh, times 7 over 2 times the group 15x plus 6. And then my job is going to be, of course, to simplify this. We want to simplify all of our answers. So the 10x plus 4, let's think about what I could divide out of there. I could probably divide a 2 out pretty easily. So on top, I'm going to divide that 2 out. 10 divided by 2 is 5x plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then I still have this times 7 over on the other side. So that's going to be the top of my fraction. On bottom of this thing, what I'm going to probably have to do is I'm going to divide uh, 3 out, dividing by 3. So there's a 2 here. Now I'm going to divide the 3 out, so there's going to be a 2 and a 3. And then inside, 15 divided by 3 is 5x, plus 6 divided by 3 is 2. And now I'm ready to start getting rid of some of these power of 1s. So like the 5x plus 2s can go. Uh, these 2s out in front, I can get rid of those. And I'm left with, on top, a 7, and on bottom, a 3. So this whole entire thing is going to reduce down to 7 over 3, 7 thirds. And that makes up my final answer. So division and multiplication, very similar problems. Really, the only change happens here at the very first step. When you see that division symbol, you just have to remind yourself, oh, i got to flip and multiply. Flip and multiply. If you can remember that, then it's not much different than a multiplication problem, really. Be sure you're simplifying all of your answers down, though. The big idea here is once you do your multiplication, you need to simplify as much as you possibly can. And if you're struggling with simplifying, you can go back and watch some of those older videos on basic, pull out, and factor, the different types of simplifying uh, examples that we have. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks, guys.